Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, come on in and make yourself at home. This morning, I've got to make some Hershey's syrup. And uh, it's so much easier to make at home than it is to even go to the store and buy it. As long as you have your uh, Hershey's cocoa powder, don't use anything else because it won't taste the same. Um, so let's get started. This is going to be a quick and easy recipe that anybody can do. Anybody. And who doesn't love chocolate, right? We've got one cup of Hershey's cocoa powder. I'm going to put it in that pan right there. And add one and a half cups of water. And one and a half cups of sugar. stove on. I'm going to turn it, the stove, to medium high for a minute. You have to be very careful that your syrup doesn't overflow, but it does need to come to a boil. And I'm going to tell you, my grandma used to say that a washed pot never boils, and that's the no truer statement has ever been made about the kitchen. <clears throat> However, once this starts to boiling, it will overflow and run all over your stove in a New York minute. So you have to keep an eye on it. My suggestion is that if you see it start to boil, lift it off of the burner. Turn your heat down and put it back on. Okay? So let's do that. It'll take a while for this to boil. But once it does, like I said, it's going to go off like a rocket. While we're waiting for this to boil, I'm going to tell y'all a little story about my son. God love him. He, he was about a year old, a little over a year old. And uh, every morning he liked to have chocolate milk in his bottle. See how I'm picking this up a little bit? Because it's starting to roll a little tiny bit. And I don't want it to go too fast. But anyhow, uh, he used to like to have chocolate milk in his bottle. And that one particular morning, he woke up, and I didn't have any chocolate milk. I didn't have any chocolate syrup. I had run out of cocoa powder and couldn't make in it. I'm turning my stove down. Well, anyhow, little man was in a panic. I mean, a right panic. He was throwing himself a fit over ha not having any chocolate milk. And I was running around the kitchen like a crazy woman trying to figure out what in the world was going to shut him up. So I looked everywhere and finally I looked up and there was a coffee maker right in front of me. And it dawned on me, well, coffee's brown. So I said, Bailey, I found some special chocolate milk. Well, it got his attention, and he quit crying for a minute, and went in there and tried to watch me make his chocolate milk, so I had to be real stealthy about it, but I ended up pouring some little, little bit of coffee, just enough to make it, the milk brown, into his bottle, and um, I put a couple of tablespoons of sugar in it, and shook that bottle up, and boy, let me tell you what. He, did, he wasn't none the wiser. He really liked it. And uh, I think just about every morning after that, he wanted his special Chucky Mick. That's what he called it, Chucky Mick. And um, so I just sometimes these things come back to me, and I realize that, you know, when you're a parent, you have to find all kinds of different ways to be resourceful. And you've got to have some ingenuity and think fast on your feet. Um, see, now, it's boiling a little bit. 
but it's just slowly rolling, and that's where I want it. I want it to slowly roll, because what I want this to do is thicken up. Uh, let me see if I can find us a spoon real quick. Don't you dare boil any faster than that. You hear me? Not quite there. You see how that's sticking to the spoon? When I... Let me move that out of the way. See how it's sticking? Well... Here, look at here. See there's still chocolate on that spoon? It's getting close. I want it just a little bit thicker. Now this will thicken up just a bit after it cools. You're also going to want to put just a little bit of salt in there. For some reason that salt just brings out the flavor of the chocolate. You see how that's getting thick? If I stop stirring, it'll start rolling again. See that? That's what we want it to do. Now, look at that. That's a big old thick layer. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. All right. Now, we're going to pour this into these ball jars. But first, we're going to pray that this glass don't bust because it's not a hot glass. I don't think it will because it's, um, you know, it's made to be hot or withstand some heat, excuse me. There's one and a little bit. The last step is to put in a teaspoon of vanilla. And if you like more, you can use more. Two teaspoons ain't going to hurt it. Not, not a bit. Um, just put the lid on it. I screw it on kind of loose. Turn off the stove. Woo! And I'm going to put it in the fridge. So it can cool off. Well, thank you for watching my video this morning. I really appreciate my viewers. Um, and if you have anything that you want me to do in the kitchen, please leave a comment below and give me some suggestions. Um, also, I'd really appreciate if you would subscribe and click the little notification bell so that you'll get notifications whenever I post a new video. Um, I'm really enjoying doing this YouTube thing and making these videos and even if nobody ever watches them at least they'll be around for my kids to see whenever I'm not. So hopefully if YouTube is still alive. Um, but y'all have a wonderful afternoon um, and enjoy your day. See you again next time.